right now, right now on the page next door. You want to see him? That's GG. Live in person. We're gonna go. see Gigi in a minute. What do you think about Gigi? Uh, I think he's kind of confused. He's peculiar. <laughs> How confused oh, is he? He's peculiar too. He's even more uh, peculiar. Like well, I'm going to give you a Spoets take. I suck. I suck. Your happy little face when you open it up. <gasps> Show it to the camera. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, baby. It's mine. Thank you.
everybody to the cause. Hey, what's the cause? GG's Good Time Gospel Hootenay. <laughs> Yeah, we have preach, it. preach, preach. Later preach. on, later on. Yeah, first of all, get married. Oh, so let's get here. Yeah, it's like a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to die before I leave. Where are you going next? <laughs> Unfortunately, we're back to Michigan. No. You feel like last time I got you look like Peter Oliver. So what's the parole shit anyway? They're gonna have to chain you up there for a couple of years. Fuck no, I'm gonna go back to Chicago. Fuck that. Get out of Michigan. Fuck. Yeah. We kept hearing all these. Who knows? Who knows? One day at a time. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> We heard about like all kinds of other different charges and stuff that you might be up on and stuff. Is that all just gone or? Well, what did you hear? I heard that, that like, when you got out of prison, there you're gonna extradite you someplace else for some other kind of charge and all that kind of well, stuff. I, I go to court. Yeah, that's true. Milwaukee in July. Mm -hmm. and Connecticut won't extradite me unless I'm within 300 miles. <laughs> Basically, stay away from the East Coast. <laughs> But, you know, fuck it, they're going to get me sooner or later. I'm going back. Mm -hmm. What happened to your, like, suicide thing? Well, I'll tell you. I went to prison. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so how could I do it? But, it'll happen. Sooner than you think. I'd rather have you around to piss people off than see you see you dead anytime soon. Well, that's soon. true, but I mean, once you lay down the groundwork for everyone else to follow, and you say everything you got to say, do everything you got to do, what's the sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, go out and in a fucking blaze of fire. As long as you got everything done, the mission is the most important thing. Once you lay down the ground rules for the mission, and you set the course for everybody else to follow, then the ultimate ending is death. That's the ultimate sacrifice that you can do for what you believe in. So, fuck all those other motherfuckers. It's just about a book. Let me see. Here it is. Mm. Ah, Ann Arbor incident. Read all about it. I don't know. It's coming out in the fall, I guess. To a big store near you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To a finer bookstore. Probably not near you. To a finer bookstore somewhere. <laughs> we haven't figured out where yet. Where do you choose? Puke on this table. Gigi, have you played anywhere since you got out? No. Where's the first place you're going to play? Detroit. Ooh, mercy. Who's going to be playing behind you? I got uh, West Beach from the Plasmatics, TC from the Plasmatics, uh, somebody from the Ted Bundy's, and uh, <laughs> somebody I haven't met yet. <laughs> playing uh, Detroit, Toledo, Chicago, and then we got some gigs set up for uh, the East Coast right now. Planning on playing Charlotte again anytime? called us up last night and they wanted us to play tonight. Fuck them, they didn't want to pay us and they didn't give us enough time. I ain't doing nothing for those motherfuckers. Is that milestone? Huh? Is that a milestone? 13, 13. Yeah. I mean, they know I was coming for a fucking month. They called me last night. Fuck those motherfuckers. If they want me, they're gonna pay me. So we might see you out at Hazel Atkins show last night. We were gonna go. We didn't get out of the studio until uh, two in the morning. Didn't get back here until about four. Was it any good? Oh, it was great, man. I wanted to see you get up on stage and howl with him. Like <laughs> a lot, a lot of people I know go. I've seen him. Before. I've never seen him. Talk about. I've been, uh, I've been kind of preoccupied the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was talking about like Gene Vincent and all his his buddies from West Virginia up there. How old is he anyway? 54. 54. You don't look it though. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I look 100. All that good living. So was there anybody up in the Aintree in Michigan who appreciated your music when you are in jail? No. Does anybody appreciate my music when I'm out? <laughs> 